fucking tired, yeah. So what's up? What'd you say? Feeling good, I'm feeling great. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Apex Legends, and with this, I have something, I, I have the truth about Apex Legends. This is all I want to put it out there, I want to just, I just want to get this and address this and just talk about it. And I hope that you guys will start a conversation in the description down below, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. But with all that being said, here's the thing, it's a battle royale, we all know that it's 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 nothing new you know when you generally play battle royales you pretty much have played them all you've played one you've played them all a hey, stay in the circle make sure you don't die to other players kill everybody survive be the last one alive and you win you know uh we know that most of them have microtransactions we know that most of them do end up getting boring after a while and we know that the battle royale trend is some people would say it's fading off. My personal opinion, I don't think so. Um, I've always thought personally, and this is what we're gonna address first, I've always thought that Battle Royale games were always a game mode. So when games like PUBG said, oh hey, well we're gonna make a versus mode, I thought that was a great idea. I thought that was innovative because you can't really have a game with only one thing. You just can't. I, I've played tons of multiplayer games. You can't have they none of them have one game mode, which is that's what battle royales are. It's, it's a game mode, uh, you know, and it, you know it can get boring, and that's what happens. You know, Fortnite rose to super tall heights, and now you can see more and more people are annoyed at Fortnite. More and more people are not having as much fun as Fortnite, and I would be stupid. I would literally be stupid to tell you that the same fate doesn't lie with Apex Legends. The thing is, is that this game is a very fun game. And just like any other fun game, it's going to have its time in the spotlight. And a lot of people could say, oh, Battle Royales are fading out. Oh, Battle Royales aren't fun. Apex Legends is something that the other Battle Royales aren't. And it's, 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 it's innovative in a way. It's taken every single game that we didn't enjoy or things that we we griped and groaned about that they still hadn't fixed and they made it into a different game you know it's got a little bit of everything that we've been playing for the last decade it's got the whimsical characters kind of like a mixture between overwatch and fortnite it's got you know the first person battle royale experience you know that's that's something fun that's something most people even especially on console weren't introduced to until blackout like they had PUBG, which you could switch in between the, the two but it wasn't necessarily a first person based shooter you know it's got abilities that kind of they have team abilities like i can't imagine one ability that's actually solo it's a game that forces you to work with your teammates in order to become the winners like it does things that the other games haven't like in fortnite you can go off and do what you want in blackout you can go off and do what you want you go off and do what you want in this game nine times out of ten you're probably gonna die i'm not saying that there's no beastly players out there that are just gonna actually wreck shit eventually but the idea is a team-based shooter you know there's a lot of things that you could say is wrong you could say it's the same game you could say it's battle royale over again but i, I would argue that with you i don't feel like i've played a battle royale like this and yeah it's free to play and yeah there's going to be quite a bit of things that they're going to try to charge you for but the thing is is a lot of the stuff in this game even the stuff that you want none of it's locked behind microtransactions to which i can tell to which i can tell now there's a battle a battle pass releasing there's a roadmap. i'll talk to you guys about that for you fans of apex legends in the future i will actually bring that to the channel i will show you guys a roadmap of the idea because i would like to cover this game until i myself get bored of it um you know it, it's a great opportunity for content creators to actually make things that are kind of fun to, to use i mean kind of fun to play with now I can already see the, you know, the epic pack openings and things like that that come from, you know, because there is packs in the store and things like that. But for the most part, no matter how you feel about this game, no matter how you feel, excuse me, about any game, they're all going to have their time in the spotlight and they're all going to go down. Like, it, it, that's just how it is. That's how it works. And at the current moment, there's a lot of players that were spending tons of time just kind of like really wanting another premier battle royale experience 
that's the 80,000 people that were at the reveal for this game. Like they were, they were, or in the stream for the reveal. I, I, I was there. I watched the tons of people roll in. It went from 30,000 to 80,000 in the split second. Like tons of people came through to check it out. Tons of people were excited about it. And the game, it, you know, it's really not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not, it doesn't feel like the game doesn't know what it's doing. It feels like they really spent time to provide a AAA quality game with, well, okay. So here's the, the little thing about that is that like, I don't know if you can necessarily say it's a AAA game uh, based on the fact that it doesn't really have, you know, everything, you know, it doesn't have like a story mode. It doesn't have any side modes and it's only got battle royale, but, but there's a lot of things that it's going to improve in the future. There's a lot of ways that this game's going to improve. And I feel like it's got a good chance of becoming a very good game for a very long time. I feel like all the free-to-play games do, to be honest. Now, yeah, it's going to die off. And yeah, it's not going to be as popular. But, you know, it happens. But for right now, I'm enjoying the game. I'm going to bring content to you guys when it comes to Apex Legends. But I kind of just wanted to talk about it because I've seen a lot of players say, oh, you know, this, there, there's nothing new about this game. I've seen people say, oh, man, I'm not going to play that. You know, Titanfall Battle Royale doesn't even seem fun. You know, and they haven't even experienced the game. So from a person that spent the better the better half of, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't even know how long playing the game. But actually experiencing the game, actually doing a little bit of diving into it and really looking at it from an unbiased perspective, you know, or as least as unbiased as I possibly could be, uh, considering I was excited about the game, but I had to look at it from a critical standpoint as well, and, you know, there's things, like I said, I, I told you guys about them in, earlier in the video, but there, there's things that do make it similar to a lot of other games, but for the most part, it does a really good job of creating teamwork, creating a fun environment for children as well as for grown-ups, and, um, I'm pretty excited to play it. But with all that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys are creating a conversation, like I said, in the discussions or in the comments down below. I would love to have a continuous talk about this, guys. So yeah, keep it up. And uh, if you guys liked the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.